Excusez-moi, s'il vous plaît, merci. Eh, hey, bonjour. Ce matin, j'ai rencontré en train de trois grands rois qui allaient en voyage. Ce matin, j'ai rencontré en train de trois grands rois de ce en gros chemin. Eh, hey, bonjour. bonjour! Can you all say that with me? Bonjour. Bonjour. And as we say in my country, Joyeux Noël. That means Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Now, do you know who I am? We some people call me Santa, but in France, I am Le Père Noël. I am the good spirit of this season. It is joy for me to see all of you in such good spirit. Matana, I have another question for you. Have any of you, uh, or your petit enfant, huh? have you ever written a letter to my friend Santa Claus, the North Pole? Hmm? Uh, you big people, you can admit this to <laughs> Well, in France, if a child writes a letter to me, Père Noël, and puts a return address on the envelope, the French government pays the postage on my reply. <laughs> Not bad, eh? I get so many letters. I'm going to share with you one of my favorite. It comes to me from a lovely little girl named Babette who lives with her old uncle Louis and her brother Francois on a farm near Les Beaux in the mountains of Provence. A letter, it will give you a bit of the, the flavor of the holiday season in France. Écoutez, and um, listen. Dear Père Noël, even though my brother Francois says Christmas is for babies, I look forward to La Vie de Petit Jésus and a visit from you. But of course she does. The watch night, ah, the watch night. Christmas Eve, eh, the watch night. The watch night is a magical evening when my family and I sit in front of the fire, sipping hot cider, and Uncle Louis tells the story of the birth of the baby Jésus. She goes on to say that her big brother teases her about all this. Oh, the Francois. He does not believe in Christmas. He does not believe in Père Noël. But for me, nothing surpasses the, the magic of the watch night. Or the fragile beauty of a child's face on Christmas morning, hmm? Alors, with Christmas still several days away, Uncle Louis secretly decorated the tree. Uh, Francois, uh, Babette to set up the crash. Uh, you, you know this word, crash? Uh, the nativity scene. One of the most important symbols of Christmas to the French. Even though it was invented by an Italian. <laughs> Uh, St. Francis of Assisi, he's okay too. Yeah. Now, you know the figures that go into the crash, eh? Yeah. Mary and Joseph, the wise man, the little drummer boy, eh? <laughs> well, where did they come from in Provence? The little statues were made for the nativity also include people from your village. Wow. The, uh, the baker, the priest, Little figures made out of clay called Santon. That means little saints. And Babette's wish for Christmas last year was she would get it another Santon to put into the nativity scene as if it too was going to worship the baby Jesus. It is a nice custom, no? Mm. Last year, 
thought that was finally early enough to go to midnight mass with Uncle Louis. Oh, it was very beautiful. As Uncle Louis carried a newborn lamb to the priest to symbolize the Lamb of God and then put it into a little cap for Babette to pull around the church for everyone to see with shepherds playing flutes and drums. Then, after the mass, they go home for the réveillon, the big supper. Who likes to eat at Christmas time? Eh? Who likes to eat all the time? Eh? <laughs> See, French are no different. Last year, for the réveillon, Papette, she had roast goose, pâté, le fromage. Oh, le fromage. Sounds very fancy, no? It means cheese. <laughs> and for dessert, they had bush de Noël, a cake shaped like a yule log. Even Francois likes that one. Magnifique. Then, Babette, she put the little Santon of the baby Jesus into the crash. A enfant, the last she does before she goes to bed is to set out her shoes for me to fill with treats and goodies. Last year, Papa was a little devilish. This is the shoe I find near the fireplace with her name on it. If this is Babette's shoe, she's a grand pied, eh? A big foot. <laughs> the next morning, Christmas Day, Babette, oh, she jumps out of bed, she rubs her eyes, she wakes up all the Francois to go with her to see what I have put under the tree. But Francois, he takes his time. He does not believe in Christmas. He does not believe in Père Noël, remember? But when the children go to the tree, they discover an amazing thing. Not one, but three shots and stones. Two more even than my little friend had wished. Only one is carved to look like her Uncle Louis, another look just like her brother, Doubting Francois, and another look just like sweet little Babette herself. She concluded a letter. So you can see, I see Christmas. It's a very magical day. All I wish is a Christmas tree, Santa, and you, Père Noël. Love, Babette. It's very sweet, no? And that, mes amis, that is a small taste of a fresh Christmas seen through the eyes of a delightful little child. A... Uh, Sneaky one, <laughs> but a delightful one nonetheless. Huh? <gasps> and do you know, I have just received a letter from, can you guess who from? Francois, her brother. He emailed me this morning. So, I think now he believes in the Père Noël too, eh? just a little bit. And what of you? Do you believe in Père Noël? Yes. Yeah, do you believe in Christmas? Yes. Très bien. Then say with me, Merry Christmas in the language of my country. It is Joyeux Noël. Oh, de toi. Joyeux Noël. Très bien, merci. Music to Père Noël's ears. A joyeux Noël. 
everyone. Ah, merci. Tu sens très gentil. Merci. Il faut un moment pour les photographes. Bien, yeah, oui, il faut un moment pour photographe. If anyone wishes a photograph, in fact, le père, no.